praise you, the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the permanent of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him with, for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Amen. The hundred and fifty song. Say hallelujah. 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 Is the highest praise. The, the highest, highest praise. praise. Lift up your name. We thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity to muse upon your word. We thank you that your word will not return to your world, but will accomplish that which you set it out to do. So, God, we give you glory and ask that you have your way. Less of me and more of you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 This morning, I'm going to But the Lord touched my heart on this week. And he was saying, Thanksgiving are giving thanks to God, praises, and thankfulness. First, uh, the Bible verses that he gave unto me was um, Psalms 136. Verses 1 through 3 in the ESV. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. God's unfailing and unconditional love. <laughs> that's speaking to our hearts to let us know that he don't stop loving us. Amen. If we should fall or fail, he can't love us anymore than he loved us before Amen. we failed. It's saying that it's unconditional. So it's nothing that you can do to make him love you more. Nothing you can do to make him love you less. Because his love is unconditional. It's there. He made the love for us. He brought it forth. He invented it or he created it. The love for us. Because he had a deeper meaning of this love than what we have in this shallow life. His love is understanding. 
His love is delivering. His love is comforting. His love is teaching. His love is magnifying every good thing that he has brought forth in our life. In Psalms 95, 1 through 6, in the King James Version, it says, Come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For the Lord is great, a great God and a great king above all gods, Luke Jesus. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and And bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. Instruction and what to do. Bow down. He is a God above all gods, little G gods. Not the big G gods. Because he's the only big G God. He's a great king. And his hand forms the deep places. In other words, he creates everything. The devil can't create nothing. He just mess with what God already created. All right. His hands form the dry land. Come, he said, Doctor, come. Let us, 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 us worship the Lord. I mean. How do we do that? Some people praise God. They learn how to dance. Before the, that's a difference. Before you criticize, there's a difference between a praise dance. But you learn a praise dance. A shout is what the anointing brings forth when you hear something or when the Lord touches you yeah. to, to give it glory. Yeah. And worship. Lord have mercy. Anybody can dance? Anybody can but that takes a special knowing of the Lord to worship. Yeah, yeah. When you worship, you know him. You know him and you know his presence. You feel his presence. And you honor him. Yeah. From every fiber of your being, you worship. Hallelujah. Okay. Psalms 92, 1 through 4 in the ESV says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord, yeah. to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning, that steadfast is again, and your faithfulness by night. In other words, he ain't going to leave us. He's going to be there all the time. We don't have to look for him, he's there. Amen. To the music of the lake and the harp, the lute and the harp. To the melody of the lyre. For the Lord, oh Lord, have made me glad by your word. At the works of your hand, I sing for joy. Oh my God, I have scriptures after scriptures that tell me about giving thanks, not just to God, but to people. Thank you ought to be in our mind. Not just in our mouths, but coming out of our mouth. Because there's some things that's coming out of our mouths that shouldn't be coming out of our mouth. All right. Let's fill our mouths with praise. Mm -hmm. Praise for others. Philippians 4 and 6 says, do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, 
Let your request be made known unto God. In other words, you don't have to call Sister Rita. You don't have to call your boss lady. You don't have to call your grandchildren. You call on the name of the Lord. If you take that supplication and that request to the Lord, he's the only one that can answer it. Because even if somebody comes by and, and is an answer to the prayer, he had to move on their heart for them to do it. But if you want this one to do it and not that one, then you may be just waiting. How do you choose somebody to bless you? God knows who has it. And God knows who will do it. Amen. So why not let him have it? When we let him handle it, the outcome is always good. I have many scriptures here talking about the thankfulness, but I, I believe I believe y'all got the message. Because I got the message. Nah. Don't just give him praise because he's done something today. Amen. We ought to be praising him all the time. Yes. Because he's always doing great things for us. Yes, yes. Yeah. Suppose if we had an ordinance that said you cannot praise God until the fourth Thursday in the year in November. By the same token, praise him. Praise him, because we're we behind on our praise. I am. I am. I'm behind on my thanks, thanks to him. Because he's done more for me than anybody could ever do, that I could ever do for myself. Amen. Let's give him praise. Amen. Let's worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.